Hey guys, welcome to my channel. We're going to do something very different. We're going to organize my closet. I have my lamp on. I have all of my lamps on. Let me pause this real quick and show you what I'm doing. No, you know, I'm not going to pause. I just have my, all my lamps on, so it looks kind of weird in the background, and it looks kind of like oddly bright, but I'm going to turn it around and show you what is not working for me. Absolutely not working are these hangers that I bought uh, to save space. They're making it way too hard for me to utilize. I'm going to only stick a few things on these hangers and get rid of a few things and just organize it because it's not working for me and I need to find a better system. I want all of my dresses together. I want all of my pants together. T-shirts and shirts, I think I'm only going to be using for certain hangers. And we're just going to go from there. We're also going to try and organize some of my drawers. Um, because I have too many socks. And I don't... No reasonable person needs as many socks as I have. So we're going to get rid of some socks. We're going to reorganize my whole entire closet. And while I'm reorganizing my closet, I can show you the clothes that I actually own. And wear. And so, yeah, let's get into this. So this is not working for me at all. These hangers don't work. I think I'm going to have to figure out um, this drawer. This drawer is not working for me. So I have way too many socks. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out the sock situation first. And then I might do this video in part. So first I'm going to put on some music, figure out this whole sock situation because this is insanity and it doesn't, it doesn't work for me. And then I'm going to reconfigure this because this is not working. Having my pajamas like this all bunched up and my clothes all bunched up where I can't even create cute outfits, it's just not. It's it's just totally not working. And I have some things in here that I'm probably going to give my mom. I'm not using them. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to reorganize everything that's in here. So... I'm going to get a bag and start throwing out some socks because no person needs this many socks. It's a lot. So let's get to getting. I'm going to take my time doing this. This is three things of socks. This is insanity. Nobody needs as much socks. And I'm going to go over all of this stuff really slowly. I'm not going to try and finish all of this organizing in one night. I'm just going to do it slowly and see how much I can get done while watching a movie. So I'll show you the progress after. I have that bag down there and I'm just gonna relax and go through socks. These are all Dollar Tree mostly, so it's not like I'm breaking the bank or being wasteful. These are just mostly Dollar Tree socks that I've accumulated over the years and they need to go. So here is a quick video of what I did. I put all of, I hung up all of my nightgowns and then in here, I'm only going to be hanging up my blouses on these hangers. And then I took off, what I did was I took off my pants off of these. These space-saving hangers aren't good for pants. I needed to see my pants, so I took them off and they're just hanging freely now. This really does save space. These hangers really do work, but it got to be kind of selective. <laughs> And then over here, I only used these space-saving hangers for my sweaters, fancier blouses. And then I took all of them off. So where my dresses are, I'm not using any of these space-saving hangers. Because I wanted to be able to see what dresses I actually own and have. So sweaters, blouses, nightgowns are what I'm keeping on the space-saving hangers. So you have sweaters blouses, and then free hanging. And then in here, in here I hung, I put away all of, these were hanging up, and I actually have all my sets of pajamas. So this is a set, this is a set, this is a set, and back there is a set. And I cleaned up my socks. So I still have a lot of socks. These are my fancy socks for sneakers and dresses, and then regular socks. And then in here are sweaters. So I'm not I'm gonna try not to buy any more clothes because I really don't have the room. But yeah, that looks really, really good, and I'm really proud of what I did. 
And that is a bag of trash. I'm watching, where are my slippers? I'm watching the great, so hold on. I'm going to let you go real quick so I can say goodnight to my nephew. Okay, so it's a little dark in my room. I'm, it's 11 o'clock at night. I'm going to be going to bed. Uh, I have a heating pad on. That's why I don't. I didn't turn the camera around. But I did reorganize my entire closet. And I plan on doing a closet tour for you guys. Showing you my dresses, my jeans, everything. You know, just showing you what my closet looks like so that... I can do cute, fun outfits easier and not have to struggle and look for clothes because I have a lot of cute clothes. I accumulated a really nice wardrobe just over the years of finding things here and there. And that's the glorious thing about being an adult. You fit into the same things all the time. You're not growing, you know, you're not growing out of your shoes like when you're a kid. So I have a lot of clothes that I accumulated over the years and I'd like to show you some of my dresses, some of my jeans, some of the blouses that I use underneath my dresses. I just have a lot of cute things that I want to show you guys that have either been thrifted or bought off discount sites like Timu. You see a lot of my hauls on YouTube so you know what I have, but I think it'd just be kind of fun to show you how I organize my clothes. and. Um, yeah, something different. So, anywho, any hey, I'm going to let you guys go, and I am going to watch uh, Frugal J. She has a new Dollar Tree haul up, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow, and tomorrow will be Monday. I go back to work on Wednesday, so that'll be nice to see my kids again, my boys, my nephews, my joy and happiness. So, anywho, any hey, I will... Check in As tomorrow. I promised, I said that I would show you my closet. So in here are just my hanging little shoe rack. And it has my different colored shoes in here. You know, the blue, the purple, um, some flats. I do have these. These are really cute. Aren't they cute? They're loafers, kind of. And then these. And then I'll show you kind of... The sneakers you've seen the sneakers because i've showed them in outfits but they look like this they're stars and then you have the purple ones and these really go with anything and i'll show you how i like to style those and then the blue so we're gonna start here with sweaters and i have this one that i got from burlington and i really like it just for a cozy fall look with some doc martens I also have, let me show you, I'm going to put it up like this, because these are safe, space saving hangers, but I only, only put sweaters and not any of my dresses, because it's too hard to look through my dresses with these, it's easier just to do it this way with my sweaters, so I have this little bolero, I have a purple one, you know, these are like my cardigans that I wear over my dresses, this one I dyed. These ones probably all came from places like Kohl's or Target, and I love them. So they're just, you know, boleros, just little boleros. So I'll put that down, and then I'll come over here, and I'll show you my other sweaters. So another pink one, you know, it's um, open, doesn't have any buttons. This one, if I could show you. This one has a bunny on it and it buttons up. And I might have gotten that off. I did get that off Romley. Um, this one is just another one that's really cute. It's just little buttons. And the sleeves look like this. And then this one is just one that I got from Kohl's. It's really, really cute. Pop Sugar. I love that brand. And this one is from... This might actually be from Walmart or Target. I'm not sure. I haven't worn it yet. Those always go over jackets. Those always go over sweaters. Sweaters go over just sweaters go over dresses. That's what I'm trying to say. I have this. This can actually be worn over a dress. This is this goes under a dress. It's a ruffled blouse. It's really cute. And I thrifted it. So this is thrifted. This is Burlington. Um this is off of probably Romway. Or I'm not sure. Did I thrift this? I might have thrifted this, but it's really cute. It has a collar and it goes over my dresses, 
This one's really cute too. It's long sleeve and it can go underneath my dresses. And I think it's just regular. And then, oh, it has heart buttons. This one's really cute. It has heart buttons. And I'm not sure where, oh, I got this one Hot Topic. And this one has strawberry buttons, also Hot Topic. So, and this one has strawberry um, buttons. So, hot that. And let me try and put this back on here. Lots of sweatshirts, nothing exciting. Um, Pachaco. These are just for a casual look. And they go with my colored jeans. Um, I could show you. I could show you. You've seen all these before. This is a zip up. And it's got... And then this is just a pastel one. And then this one, you know, you've seen this one a lot. It's Magical Girl with the bows on the side. I wear this one a lot. Yeah, so this one just looks like this. It's got the little, you know, it's really cute. I wear it a lot. Uh, this is Thrifted. I really like it. It's cute. This is Thrifted as well. I like this underneath dresses. This is Thrifted. I love this. It's really pretty. Uh, this is not. This is a long time ago from Target. Uh, this is, I'm not sure, maybe Walmart. This is Target. And then just miscellaneous sweaters. This is off of Shein. And then I have another little purple one. You've seen that a lot. And then that one from Amazon. Oh, that's a lot of stuff, people. And it's falling. And this is the fun part. So this is a dress I haven't worn. But I will be wearing um, maybe sometime this week. The strawberry dress. I love this. You've seen me wear this. This is from Hot Topic. Timu. Amazon. Um, Timu. I haven't worn this yet. It's a Christmas dress that will be worn. Uh, this I've worn a couple times. Halloween. You've seen me in this. I've worn all of these multiple times. I love this one. Teapots. Uh, a Nightmare Before Christmas. Peanut Butter Jelly. A magical girl dress. It's just super cute. Down at the bottom. I know you guys have seen all of these before. Alice in Wonderland. Another Halloween one. I love this one. I've worn it quite a bit. A really pretty long red dress. Another long. Uh, these dresses I got off of Timo and they're very long and they're very pretty. I just love them. The bottom of this is gorgeous. I do have a Halloween dress right here that was on sale on Timu. I'll be definitely wearing this. Super cute. Um, a Wednesday dress. I'll be wearing that as well. A little, um, little poofer for underneath the dress. And then my coat. And that's on that side. Sometimes I just wear a t-shirt and jeans. But I do have colored jeans to make my outfits pop. These ones I dyed. I want to do them a different blue. These ones I dyed, I love this blue. It's so pretty, you can't really see it. Um, a darker one, but I have a couple pairs of pink jeans that really make for cute outfits. I have those ones. You can't really see it in this light, but I have a whole bunch of colored jeans. I really think colored jeans make an outfit pop. So these are pink, these are red, these are blue. I've got all kinds of different shades of pinks and lavender. So, how I make those pop is with a cute little shirt like this. I'll show you the shirts that I have here. Actually, you can see them. That's a butterfly one. It's just a basic tee, a strawberry one. Just a basic um, blouse that I got from Walmart. And then these are my t-shirts. So, I do have some basic t-shirts. I have the Stranger Things. I have a striped one. I have a Hello Kitty one that looks super cute with uh, jeans, and, like pink jeans. And I have this one. And I have this one. I have, And this one looks super cute with um, green jeans. It's a shirt that I got from Walmart. And it looks super cute when I pair it with my green jeans, which are not here. But they look really cute. And I like that look a lot. I think it's important to have colored jeans because this really cute shirt can go with lavender jeans, 
This one is actually a pajama shirt. This one can go with anything, you know, like it looks really good with red jeans. All of my black t-shirts I love wearing with colors, especially my black. Black t-shirts and red jeans for me are like a staple that I love to wear. And then I have um, some Timu shirts in here. And I just have t-shirts in here. I have a lot of t-shirts, but I like to style them in funky fun ways and just a lot of t-shirts. And then I have my pajamas and then there's boots down here. I have my Doc Martens down here somewhere. But let me show you my sweaters because my sweaters are really where it happens. I still have a lot of t-shirts though. So sweaters, sweater vests, sweater vests, sweater vests, sweater vests. Um, yeah, but I still really, really love my t-shirts and jeans. I just don't wear them with regular jeans anymore. I style them. I try really hard to not wear a black t-shirt with blue jeans because I just think it looks... I don't like it. I think it just looks basic and boring and it's not it's not really how I like to dress anymore. I'll usually pair like a pair of these blue jeans with like a bright like this shirt and then some colorful sneakers and some jewelry and it makes a huge difference. It gives it a little bit of style. It gives it a little bit of pop. It's not so um, basic and boring and I'm talking about me. I'm not talking about anyone else. I'm talking about me. How, like, I just don't like to wear a lot of, um, like, you can wear basic jeans and, like, a really big, fun earring, and it really makes a difference. So, that's kind of how I, I dress now. You guys have seen my outfits the other day. You know how I dress. You guys know what I wear and what I like. So, that's kind of what I wanted to show you guys, and I hope you got an idea of kind of, like, what my style is. Um, it's colorful and fun. That's basically it. It's quirky, colorful, and fun. So there are my Care Bears right there that my sister got me. So I'm going to let you guys go and I will piece together this video. It may not be the most interesting video, but I think it gives you kind of an idea. I'm always reorganizing my closet, always redoing my, my room so that I could utilize all the clothes that I have efficiently and in a better way. So... I'll let you guys go, and I will see you in the next one. Hey guys, we're going to do a vlog today. Um, I am out and about. I look like a mess. I'll turn the camera around, but I look horrible. I got an iced coffee and food in there. So I look horrible, but I have to hurry up and get out of the house because the cleaning lady is there, so there is that. I'm going to go to Walmart. You guys can come with me. Maybe we'll go to Five Below. We should have a good day. There's other people in here, so it's loud. But, um, yeah, so Walmart is definitely on my agenda. Maybe Michael's. Um, we'll see. Whatever we find at, at Walmart, I won't need to go to Michael's. So, yeah. Let's get to eat. So we're having a sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit, a hash brown, and a very large vanilla coffee. If I have to go to the bathroom, it's easy going to the bathroom where my parents live. There's no homeless, so they don't lock up the bathrooms knocking on wood. There's no codes to enter. You can literally find a bathroom anywhere in this area. I hope I'm not jinxing myself. I don't think that I am. So any who any hey, I am going to eat and we will go on an adventure today. Okay guys, I'm gonna put some lipstick on. I know I look awful, but I had to hurry up and get out of the house. So I'm gonna put some lipstick on and then I'm gonna head to a Walmart. I'm gonna go over the hill and far away and I will take you with me. So let's go breakfast was good i didn't eat all of it i only ate half of it and then i'm not the type of person that snacks i like to have a have like food but i thought you know if i get hungry i could pick up a snack at walmart you know i don't have to be so rigid and be like it has to be a meal because i like to have a nice relaxing meal but i'm not one of those people that will go to a store and pick up a bag of chips and a coke and eat it in my car i've never done that but i could if i wanted to so i was like you know what if i get hungry I could pick up a snack. So I'm gonna put my lipstick on and then get to get. Welcome to Walmart, that's new. Okay, so right when we enter, we have some Celsius peach goodness and chips and pretzels. So let's go to the clothes and get a basket. 
So I walked in and I saw some cute little t-shirts. I already picked up one. I won't show you until I do a haul. I didn't want to film right when I walked in because somebody was, someone's having a moment, but that's okay. Kids are kids. be able to monetize this that's okay I like to give you guys a freebie what I'm looking for is a nightmare before Christmas shoe I did see them online but I want to see them in person and these are cute these are actually really cute I like these and I like those shoes too I'm gonna look at the baby car I'm gonna look at everything I have a long time to do whatever I'm all filming here because they locked up everything I mean like everything is locked up But look at this. I am so tempted. Look. Look at how cute this is. Stranger Things, Hopkins High School. I really like the retro vibe of this. How much is this? $24.98. What does it look like on the inside? It's like whatever, but oh my god, look at how cute. You know these are gonna go super fast. <gasps> Never more. Have a never more one. Oh, I can get it. Oh my god, I'm getting this. This is perfect for Halloween. Oh my gosh, I think it's the last one. It is the last one. Okay, so I'm getting this. Sneak peek. Awesome. They have Ravenclaw too. I'm actually really considering getting both of them. I might have to really think about that and see what toys I find. If I don't find any toys, I'm probably going to get both of these. They're really, really cute. So we'll see. Back to school is here, so I'm going to go up in the back to school section. I'm super excited for that. That means pens, because I go through pens like you wouldn't believe. Um, what we're looking at here is some Claire's stuff. But I'm going to take my time going through the school section, so... Super cute. It's a little notebook. Um, this is a fun section. I love that. I can't believe I found that bag. So I'm in the toy section. I'm not really seeing anything. Um, Barbie stuff is, you know, just the same old standard Barbie stuff. I think they got rid of the My Life Pass section. Because I'm not seeing it. Just the same old, same old Barbie. You know what I noticed? They don't sell Barbie extras in the store anymore. like a walk around this is just to show you what's what some hair amazing dolls those are cute a care bear oh i do see them on my bad section i love these little things they're so cute these are so cute so i do see some monster high i see some lol i love the new lol isn't coming out with any clothes that's kind of sad I haven't seen any new clothes in months so I'm gonna look through here see if there's anything in here oh there is this I really like that it's a couple bags but really really slim pickings this is cute um, it's a donut bag but yeah there's nothing disappointing so I think I'm gonna go back and look at the crafting section they have tons and tons of these but nothing that I want what I want is that Hawkins 
by Stranger Things bag. Mini food erasers for photo ops. If you're a doll collector, that's amazing. Oh, those are cute. I don't need any, I have a lot of photo props. So that's a pass. Let's see how many of these are here. I don't know, but they're $1.25 a Dollar Tree. And I picked some up because I always made scissors. So, ooh, look, Demi Gorgon. That's cool. Okay, let's go look at the other side. Pen extravaganza. Um, none of these pens I need, but oh, metallic. Let's get these. Oh, metallic. What's the tip on them? Um, what's the price? Twelve fifty-seven. I'm not caring about the price, I'm caring about the unusualness because back to school supplies they always show the case the most unusual pens and then you can't find them for the rest of the year. So I'm not liking the tip on that though. It says glittery on white paper. I'm not impressed. And this is what I'm talking about. During the back to school season you can find stuff like this where you won't find it at the you won't find it. So I'm gonna get these Sharpies because I use these in coloring. And I'm gonna get one pack because they are 487 and these are really great. Fine tip. When I mess up in my coloring books, I use those. So that's the type of stuff that you can't find during the school year unless you go to like a Staples or a Best Buy. Maybe, you, not a Best Buy, um, what is that place called? Office, office stores. They don't really have them anymore. Um, these are also good, but I need to see the, how fine. Oh, they are fine tip, but they don't show you. They don't show you how fine a tip. So if they don't show me, I'm not gonna get them. It's very important. Uh, see, they have the midliners up there. What are these? Those are highlighters. Um, so far, I've not seen anything really too interesting except for these sharpies, and those are great. It's a great deal. Um, anything else? Papermate, papermate. I'm gonna stop the camera and really. Okay, we hit the mother load of cutesy, cutesy stuff. When I turn around, you're gonna scream. Oh, they have Minecraft stuff. I wonder if they have. If they have Minecraft zipper cases. Oh, I wonder if my nephews would like that for school. Such fun stuff. This is cool if you're a, oh, I might get this. You know what I need this for? Um, junk journaling. You could stick your papers in here, like your ephemeral. I'm gonna check the price on this. This is awesome. So if you're into junk journaling and you want to organize your papers, this is good. It's a 13 pocket poly expandable file. I might actually get this. I'm going to check the price on this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do the haul first and then I'll do the walk around so you won't see what I'm getting. Um, great, great, great stuff for coloring supplies. This is really cute. A rainbow 587. I'm more into the practical stuff though. I'm like the boxes. I like, I like the boxes because you could stack them. So that's kind of what I like. This is cute. This is really good for pencils. Um, I don't really need anything though, so I don't think I'll get any. These are 
good too. For um, these hold a lot. This is actually really good, but seven ninety seven. I don't think that's a good price. I like that. This I actually need though. What I really want is the Colors of the World markers, but in the thin tip, thin. Um, not these ones. These ones will do nothing for me. I'll go into the regular section and look for them. I want the Super Tips Colors of the World. They have the crayons. I actually might get the pencils because I actually don't need these. I actually don't really need these. Um, I kind of do, but I kind of don't. I think I'm gonna pick these up. I think I'm gonna pick those up. We're gonna see how much those are. Oh, are they six seventy four? Oh no, four fifty six. That's a good price. Okay, I can do that. Um. But I really, really want the colors of the world fine tips. They have them. I, they're just not here right now. So I'm gonna go look for those. Uh, markers, markers, markers. Although they're water-based and they're harder to color with, they are necessary. So look at how cute this is for fall. I really like this. I get to show it to you real quick. It's Steve Madden, and I really, really like it. It's cute, it's got a little coin purse. It's 24, is it? I don't know, I'm gonna check the price on this. It says 24. Hmm, let's see. Cause this is confusing me. Maybe they mean this one, but I don't know. I really like this for fall. Let's check the price. So that is 24. This is 747. I'm not sure if I really want to get it that badly for that price, but it is actually needed. And you're not going to see stuff like this um, during the regular year. So we're going to think about that. We're going to go look at the regular stationery section, see if I can find the markers that I'm looking for. Um, this is a good price. This is a good price. The only thing that's a little bit not a good price is this. So we shall see. Oh look. How cute is this? This is cute. They're bringing in stuff for fall. And look at over there. Getting my basket in the way. So now we're gonna look at the coloring books. This one's new, and I want to see this. This one's pretty. Oh, my mom would like this. Oh, I should get this for my mom. This is beautiful. I should get this for my mom. I don't know. We'll see. I really like this. I've seen this so much online. moisture shampoo. I keep seeing this all over. It's cute. What they do to poor flounder. Sad, sad. I am so hot. As much as I love making money on YouTube, I am not gonna suffer, and you guys aren't gonna suffer with me doing a voiceover. I don't like voiceovers. I think that they're boring. Um, you don't get the feel for the store. So when I do vlogs, predominantly, they're not gonna be monetized. You won't see ads on them because I want you guys to get a real feel for what I'm doing, where I'm going. Voiceovers suck. I don't like doing them. I'm sure you guys don't like watching them. And so we're just gonna do real time. If you hear screaming, 
if you hear music, this is real time, real life. So that little kid was making me laugh because I couldn't film a lot of stuff because she was throughout the store screaming. There's a lot of screaming kids because it's summer. So bear with me, this is real time. I don't know where I'm gonna go right now. Um, I got a lot of good coloring supplies so I don't really need to go to Michael's. Did not get any coloring books because I just cleaned out my coloring books and I don't need to buy any more. Um, Tomorrow I go back to work. So I don't know. I don't know where I'm gonna go. We'll see. I will check in when I check in. And this isn't a walkthrough. This is just me showing you different things that I like and enjoy. So it's not like a like a like a thorough walkthrough of me showing you every single aisle that I go down. Some aisles aren't interesting, some aisles I just am like, eh, but if I see something really cool, I'll stop and film. So that's kind of how these vlogs work. I stop and see something cool. I'll show you if I'm just walking through and there's too many people in an aisle, of course I won't. But uh, yeah, I'll let you guys go and I'm gonna figure out what I'm doing next. I'm sitting out here with my dad. He's listening to old music, which isn't bad because I do like classic music. He's moving my car because I park crazy. So the cleaning lady's here. I'm just sitting out here in the garage area. It's cozy. Okay, cleaning lady is gone. I'm back in my room. I gotta, I don't really have to organize that much stuff, but I have to figure out what I'm taking tomorrow to my sister's. And then, yeah, that'll be interesting. So anywho, any hey, I am going to sit here and play on my iPhone. Or my iPad, who knows. But I'm definitely just gonna sit here. I don't wanna do a haul just yet because uh, we gotta pick up my mom from the hairdressers and I want to go because we might go get something to eat for lunch. But officially, I am back to work tomorrow. Never mind the gardener. I have to pack up everything to go back to my sister's. So that is what I'm doing. I'm going to go through all these bags and figure out what I need and what I don't need. So these are definitely going with me. This, 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 and this. Um, that's a bag. I have some shoes that I need to take back with me. I have mm, my medicines that I need to take back with me. So I gotta figure out all of this. This is gonna stay because this is Halloween, but oh, we gotta figure this stuff out because we gotta get up at 6.30 in the morning and we've got to get to getting. Okay guys, I dressed her. I love her. I ordered an American Girl doll for Amazon Prime. I am so excited. It'll be here on Friday. And she's just wearing these really cute little plastic shoes. And I just love her so much. Um, I made her bracelets. I just love her. She looks so cute. I think she looks like Molly Ringwald. So anyway, I'm going to sit her on my bed. I rotate my dolls. Um, my other dolly is sitting there now. And she's going to be on my bed. Because her hair was getting messed up being on the bed. And her hair is shorter, so it's easier to not get all messed up and wonky so she's looking cute my life as outfit hey guys i'm having rocky road ice cream and watching secrets of playboy i'll turn this around real quick and tell you goodbye because i'm gonna end the vlog and just relax for the rest of the night hey guys i'm going to end the vlog here i'm just gonna relax for the rest of the night there's really only one ice cream that i like it is rocky road or butter pecan from Thrifty's Ice Cream. It's now called Rite Aid, but I really only like Rite Aid ice cream. I don't like it from Baskin Robbins. I think the Rocky Road is disgusting. Um, so I'm not particularly an ice cream person. I really only like one brand of ice cream. And this particular brand has the most marshmallows, the most almonds. It is so good. It's Rocky Road. I really love it. It's one of my favorites. To eat during the summer. I don't have it that often because um, one, I'm not really home here, and two, um, my sister doesn't have a Rite Aid near her. It's kind of far. By the time you get the ice cream home, it'd be melted. So it's kind of a really nice indulgence to have my Rite Aid ice cream, my thrifty ice cream. So I'll talk to you guys later. Hit that like button, subscribe, jump on the friendship bandwagon, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.